here's the parcel that I showed that was delivered in the last video and they are the bits that I was looking for so it's the heater tubes that sit underneath the rear seat and I thought I had them but then I remembered that it was for the other 67 that I sold a while back I actually put them back on the car and got the heating working but um, like anything else really just needs a good tidy up a good de-rusting good painting put them back on the beat away the thing with these examples that I found is that they had the flaps complete inside with that uh, piece of wire coming out so new cabling should get it so I've been doing a little bit of thinking and my current plan as it stands is to get this bus rolling get it moved out so I can then get the beetle moved out get the bus back in and moved over to this side where it's then going to allow me to move the beetle in and out a lot more easier so I can get painting on the bus inside the garage as and when does that make sense a bit of a tetrisy thing going on but I think that's the only way it's going to work at the moment the logic is if I can get that beetle moved in and out of the garage as and when I can then move the bus at an angle which will give me a lot more room to move about and get it sprayed so I'm getting quite a lot of questions about the paint am I actually going to do it myself and the answer is yes I've been collating all the bits to start doing the paint but there's still a few things for me to get so I was looking for the best possible way to uh, get some sort of extraction system in place now this is a portable version and uh, it's got a five meter tube that I'll be able to poke out the bottom of the door hopefully should be adequate enough I may have shown this in a previous video but I've got myself a new gun it's an LV LP gun fast mover kit with all the trimmings the filters etc now I'm going to be borrowing a compressor hopefully because of uh, my one packed up now in the meantime I might spray all the little bits with the uh, electric gun that I've used before and of course I'm held accountable for uh, fulfilling my pledge for the VW Run 21 getting a little bit of paint on there I've also gone and bought a huge roll of plastic sheeting so I'm going to basically be able to cover the whole place in that stuff. Now throughout the painting process I'm going to be using Paint Man paints from here in the UK. Now I've only bought the primer and undercoat so far along with thinners etc. Well, I think I explained all that before but um, I'm going to be using an enamel paint. So the reason for me only getting a little bit of paint done on the bus now is purely weather related. It is so cold. I just don't want a chance um, leaving the paint to do its own thing in this climate. I'm going to swap these axle gator boots out. They're well perished, but I'm uh, a little bit concerned about the quality of the new items. I would have liked to have put the one piece gaiters on there, but um, I've had these MP versions sitting around for quite a while, so I might as well utilize them. That's one done. For a relatively easy job, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. So I'm having to cut all the old sir clips off and um, cut the actual boot off itself. They are proper minging. I'm going to be honest, I haven't got much faith in them lasting long. So that's all new brake lines and hoses done in the rear. Now I'm just going to move up to the front. Looking a lot better, she's now back on her wheels with just a little bit more sanding to do just on the inside up there on them uh, roof pillars and just up inside both wheel arches up there. So I've just cut the bolt off of this steering column collar. I'm actually going to pull the column out and the tube so it's uh, ready for paint. So along with my bench, this definitely needs a tidy up and all. Just started to clean these heater tubes up a little bit more. I'm just trying to stop the rust at the moment. I'll revisit them later on. Just now moving on to trying to locate where the holes should be drilled for the side trim. Now I'm actually moving from the thicker trim down to the thinner trim, which is uh, just for originality really, and it accepts the smaller clips. Now I've got five holes in total on this side panel. Um, I've been given some measurements, but I'm actually going to go uh, 20 mil down from 
that body line uh, and it's going to be 25 mil for the center hole uh, this is 10 mil thick this trim basically so I'm going to do a practice run on the sheet metal first just to see if I get the uh, ideal size for that hole I'm going to go with a 4 mil drill bit um, and you obviously have to plunge that small peg plug down to uh, expand their little teeth there so uh, I'll try it first see what I come up with Okay, so there's the uh, test fit, that's a 4mm hull and I've left the burrs on the back of it because there's obviously going to be some panels that I just can't get up inside. I might be able to with a, a little file maybe, but the time you hammer that peg down, that is going to be a good fit, see, spreads them teeth open on the rear there. I'll go with that 4 mil drill for the uh, thinner style trim clip. I'm definitely uh, measuring 8 times and drilling once here. So that's the rear panel holes drilled and I've just lined up the door and marked out the position of the clips on there and that's just helped out to square things up with a 2x3 uh, bit of wood. So, crack on and hopefully get them in line eh? Nearly there, just taped out a centre line for the bonnet and then the last holes to get drilled. There you go, steering column out, put that away safely for now. I was doing so well with the tidying up and in the blink of an eye I untidied it. Just going around the car doing a little bit of filler work and sanding down in this front valance area. This has taken age to do, getting in all them nooks and crannies where that press panel is. Now not that I've got anywhere to store it but I'm going to take this bonnet off. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to get the sanding finished up underneath there. And also I need to do the reverse side of the bonnet so um, I can get it outside and do it there. Wasn't too much to do in this area, a little bit of rust treatment put down, you can see it turning nice and black there now. That is all I've got for today, time flies when you're having fun eh? So until next time, make it better than it was, see you on the next one.